The wildfire in Minnesota continues to burn and grow. The Greenwood Fire now covering thousands of acres. Fox 9's Paul Bloom is up north for us following the fire crews and has the very latest on the containment efforts. We've been driving the dirt forest roads in and around Isabella, the Superior National Forest. We've made this stop here. You can really see the smoke hanging in the air. You can taste it in your lungs. You can almost feel the warmth of the fire itself, although it's unclear exactly how close we are here at this point. In some areas surrounding the Greenwood Fire, the smoke obscuring the sun, the blaze growing to more than 3,000 acres, burned with zero containment at last report. The U.S. Forest Service sharing this photo from their overnight operations. Fire officials here at Incident Command Headquarters in Isabella reporting a stepped up, aggressive fight with more resources arriving on Wednesday. That air assault we watched Tuesday remained absolutely critical. 24 hours later in this rugged area, it's difficult for crews to access on the ground for carving out fire lines. Everyone here keeping a close eye on Mother Nature. Even Smokey Bear noting the very high fire danger near Finland. Now they're looking at the forecast in the future and, and, and uh, seeing what's happening uh, with weather. And so they're, uh, um, you know, they're just trying to do whatever they can in today and tomorrow or whatever. Lake County Sheriff Kerry Johnson telling us evacuation orders remain in place for several areas, including Sand and McDougal Lakes that are threatened by the fire. Several dozen homes and cabins under strict orders to leave and stay away for now. In addition, a couple of main highways are close to traffic. The Red Cross opening up an emergency overnight shelter. Though no one ended up needing it last night. The sheriff added one of his biggest issues right now is finding adequate housing for first responders assigned to the Greenwood fire with no prediction on how long it will take crews to get the blaze under control. They want to be able to be closer so that they they don't spend all of their off time just driving to a location. So, uh, and right now, because it's a tourist area and tourist time of the year and everything's booked up, it's really hard to find uh, housing for those people. In Lake County, Paul Bloom, Fox 9. And a